All right, shalom and good afternoon, Brother Randy here. Wanted to do a quick update on the Rose Garden as well as the garden and what's going on here in terms of uh, 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 spring gardening and planting. And I'm going to take you through exactly what we're going to be planting uh, uh, in you know preparation for the uh, summer and the fall. Uh, get all of this stuff canned and stuff. So uh, what you're looking at first is the rose uh, bushes that I uh, planted and, uh, and uh, the rose trees. And they are coming up very very nicely um uh, the sheep definitely will eat it so i had to cordon off the area but uh, as you see i mean these are dark purple i got uh, some yellow roses you see man this is just this is just bloomed beautifully look at all of those buds they got to be at least uh, a dozen long stem roses on this tree right here i mean if you just see you know I mean, look at that. That's beautiful. So, uh, you know, these trees are, are coming along just fine. Uh, this one is growing. Uh, you see this uh, rose trellis right here. It's doing very nicely. And this one as well. And then you got the pink roses uh, as well. See that nice rose? And you can smell the fragrance. You can smell... You know, when the air uh, goes, uh, when the breeze uh, hits, it, you can definitely smell it. So um, this is the effect that I wanted. Uh, and I had something like this uh, in South Jersey. I definitely said to myself I wanted to duplicate it. Um, you see here, these are all new branches. So this is the kind of stuff that you want to look for when you're growing uh, roses. You want to look for those new, strong branches. And so at this point in time, you know, I can shape uh, and bend it because it's nice and green at this point in time and I can bend it up so it'll grow uh, uh, vertically. So you see how when you bend the stems, uh, they'll shoot new stems upwards. And, you know, this year, probably this will all be filled in. This is just one year's worth of growth. And you can see based on me uh, 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 bending the, uh, uh, the rose buds to the side and they grow up uh, vertically. So you know, perfect example is that one, those up there. I mean, it's just going to go all the way uh, across. I just got to get up there with a ladder and uh, direct it. And, you know, this is what I'm talking about right here. I mean, this is just a, I mean, you check this out. Are you looking at that? That's beautiful. That's beautiful right there. So, um, definitely, and you know, put those in the house uh, and fragrance up the house. So, uh, there goes uh, with the uh, uh, the roses. Those are looking real nice. I'm looking forward to uh, experiencing that. But in this bread right here, we're gonna plant the sweet potatoes. We got the uh, apple tree that I planted uh, when I first got here, it's growing. Like there were rose trees uh, or rose bushes right here. They died too much. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plant um, some more uh, apple and peach trees. And you see, uh, this is bearing fruit this year. I mean, this year is gonna bear fruit. So, I mean, it's looking uh, uh, very well. That's a peach tree. got uh, I believe this is an apple tree so the peach tree the apple tree this is looking very healthy uh, we've got another peach tree so it's two apple trees two peach trees so far uh, and this one is nice and thick I mean I'm impressed uh, how strong this particular tree uh, has grown and it's telling me you know where the uh, the best areas to plant these these trees because you know that's that's gotten big over the past two years both of them have uh, so I'm gonna plant another one right here and another one right here probably another one right here as well uh, but the pear trees apple pear trees is doing fine this is another uh, apple tree um, it's experiencing good growth It's definitely small and I planted them all at the same time so you know you see how large that uh, uh, peach tree is 
All right, we got the grape vine coming in nicely. Um, there's some other type of vine plant growing in here uh, as well. Um, I got it from my brother, brother uh, 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 Joseph, um, and they're, they're, they're coming up um, uh, real nicely. So some different type of uh, grape plant um, that he was talking about. Um, I forgot what it was, actually. I'll find out. But uh, that's what's going on with that. And going into the greenhouse. It's been a rainy day today, however. Uh, still able to get a lot uh, accomplished. Because when you have the enclosed structure, of course, you know, uh, the rain doesn't bother it. And what I'm noticing is because of the slant of the uh, the floor, uh, in correlation to the back over here, water is getting into the greenhouse, but not enough to cause any damage um, to the plants. It's actually helping out with, with, with drainage and keeping these areas um, uh, uh, nice and uh, 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 wet from the rainwater runoff. But uh, here I've been uh, uh, telling... Uh, we have at least 20 tomato plants going right now. Now, these are all off of suckers, okay? So, like I told you before, what I'm doing is uh, those suckers grow, boom, put them right back in the ground, and you'll have uh, your tomato plants growing at different phases. But all together, off of those three tomato plants that I started, I got, um, uh, what is the number, 17 uh, more tomato plants, just planting uh, the suckers, okay? And then over here... You probably don't see it, don't worry, I'll get the chickens out. But uh, those are broccoli uh, plants. And there's 50 broccoli plants uh, in here right now. Uh, and so that's going good. We have about uh, 50, 60 uh, 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 string bean uh, plants as well. So, uh, and that's going well and just working on different areas of pulling up some plastic that I'd purchased and uh, putting down, uh, uh, you know, planting right underneath this, clearing out the edges, a little, a little, you know, clean up work, just to clean up the area. And then like I did what over here is we'll take mulch and uh, uh, um, uh, uh, put the uh, mulch in between these areas, giving that additional nutrients as well as that chicken poop. Uh, so uh, these are more beds uh, that I'm preparing. I'm going to put some pepper plants in here. Um, these are more the tomato plant suckers that I got. There's five here. So we're looking, we're looking real good when it comes to, um, tomato production as well. And these will be, uh, bearing fruit first, of course, but, uh, it's going very well on that. I uh, took all of the seeds out, uh, to plant. So we're looking good. We're looking good. Um, uh, the chickens are, are doing very well. So this area is about ready to be tilled up and I can just move the whole thing down or just put this uh, over here, continue to wet it, uh, get it soft and then uh, uh, go ahead and till it all at one time. But I'll be moving the, uh, these uh, 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 chickens from over here into that one. Uh, uh, and I'm going to pick up some more uh, tomatoes, not tomatoes, uh, uh, chicken chickens today uh, that uh, I think the last day of sale is on track to supply so that's pretty much what's going on when it comes to uh, uh, the garden uh, planting uh, I'm going to be planting some corn also so uh, you know uh, last winter I produced a, an abundance of collard greens mustard greens things like that so we have an abundant supply of that and uh, so now it's time to ramp up the broccoli, the, uh, uh, the, um, uh, the string beans, the corn, and, uh, and, 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 and work to uh, start ramping up cannon production. Um, because I don't want to focus a lot of the uh, uh, vegetables that we're growing. Uh, I definitely do not want to uh, rely on refrigeration for that. And uh, we have all of the canning uh, tools. We have... Uh, an endless uh, a supply of uh, canning jars, lids, uh, uh, sealers, uh, replacement lids, uh, you know, three uh, uh, canners, the American, the large American um, general, I forgot what it is, but all American 
uh, uh, pressure uh, canners. So we have what we need in order to get the job done in that area. And all we got to do is just implement it. So um, this is uh, an update of the garden, uh, what's going on with the chickens, and uh, the general uh, development of uh, what needs to be happening when it comes to uh, food production. Uh, I'll also be planting some corn uh, out off to the side, probably I'm looking to probably do about 200, 300 head of corn, not much, but um, and I got corn seeds that I procured uh, 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 a minute ago. And I've also found that no one uh, in the back, I don't think they're going to be um, uh, planting corn uh, uh, this year as well. So uh, I'm in a good area where, um, uh, you know, I can get the fertilization from those seeds in, um, uh, you know, right from the land, be it the father's will. Uh, but that's the uh, pretty much update. Uh, staying at it, staying busy, getting it done. All right. Stay encouraged. Shalom.